Hi guys, Jacob here. Uh, today I wanted to share my brewing book collection with you guys. And uh, I got quite a few interesting books. Uh, one of them is the Everything Home Brewing Book. And it, it includes 100 recipes. Looks like this. And uh, this book is especially good because you've got uh, well, it pretty much describes every type of beer, uh, every type of malt, uh, flavor impacts of water. <coughs> you can add spirits to add a kick to the to the beer. The chill, the pitch, the fermentation. It pretty much covers everything. How to store your uh, hops? Yeah, mashing. And you've got your recipes here, you've got for uh, uh, well most of these recipes are actually full gr uh, all grain but you've got your Scottish ales uh, you've got your uh, lagers you've got uh, Belgian beers wh uh, white beers Yeah, so it's a pretty good book. I do recommend it. Uh, as you can see, I've been using it quite a lot for information. And uh, yeah, it's a good book. Uh, Everything Homebrewing Book by Drew Beecham. That's one of them. Another one I've got is uh, Homebrewer's Recipe Guide. Uh, this book is made for well, it's actually actually an American book, so you've got ounces and pounds and everything. For me, that's uh, a little bit of a problem because I have to convert it to uh, the European system by kilograms and grams. Uh, but for you guys in the States, this should be a good book, actually, because it's uh, packed with recipes, basically. Um, a lot of the recipes are both extract and uh, all grain. And this one's called Homebrewer's Recipe Guide. Looks like this. This one does not uh, talk about uh, all the different tastes and ways and how to store your uh, hops and anything like that. It's basically a recipe book. Uh, I haven't been using it that much, um, but I will be. But it looks like a uh, pretty good book. So I do recommend that one as well. Especially for you guys in the States, uh, you can more easily get uh, hold of this, the, uh, the items that are, that are required in these beers, in these recipes. Another book I got was The New Brewing Lager Beer now. Looks like this. It was written by Gregory J. Noonan. Oh, sorry, I forgot to say who wrote this uh, homebrewer's recipe guide. It's Patrick Higgins, Maura Kate Kilgore and Paul Hert Hertline, I think. Okay, back to New uh, Brewing Lager Beer. I haven't been using this book at all. It's a new book I got. And uh, basically, it, uh, among other things, uh, talk about where your taste buds are located <laughs> on your tongue. Um, hop rates. It's a more technical book if you're interested in the uh, technical uh, stuff of beer brewing. You've got your charts and diagrams and whatnot, and uh, it's for more advanced users, I would believe. But it's still a good book, I hope. Uh, my favorite book that taught me a, uh, a lot is uh, Home Brewing for Dummies, a reference. Got, a reference 
for the rest of us, and it was written by Martin Nature. And as you can see, I've used this book quite a lot. It's got many tags, and it's a very good book. Definitely recommended for someone who wants to start out with brewing. It covers uh, ma um, uh, extract brewing, partial extract brewing, full grain, uh, all grain brewing. Uh, it talks about stuff like considering alcohol contact, content. ABV versus uh, uh, alcohol by volume versus alcohol by weight. Uh, adjunct sugar, honey, and got a whole lot of uh, recipes as well. So this is definitely, definitely strongly recommended beginner's guide how to start brewing. I do recommend this one for all of you guys that are about to start brewing. Uh, and of course, my one of my favorite books is the uh, Clone Brews by Tess and Mark Shamatulski. Looks like this, and this is the first version. And I do believe they wrote another one. I wonder if I have that one. No, nope, I don't. Uh, they have uh, written another one. Uh, covering ales, I think, mostly American ales. Uh, very good book, you've got your uh, uh, you've got your all grain recipe, uh, mini mash, um, yeah, they don't have any uh, just extract recipes, but it's still a good book. Of course, you can uh, substitute the uh, grains and the mini mash by just adding uh, malt extract. So, and it's mostly just a recipe book, but it's a good book. A lot of different recipes um, gives you ideas. So definitely recommend it. Got more. Uh, beer Captured, also a, de a recipe book, uh, written by also Tess and Mark Shamatulski. Um, divided pretty much the same way, mini mash, all grain method. It also has uh, help helpful hints, uh, a little history about the beers, where they come from and uh, stuff like that. And it's a pretty good book too. Um, you've got some uh, water modification charts uh, and some other technical stuff as well. Um, <coughs> you've got hop charts. So it's definitely definitely recommended for someone who's been uh, brew brewing for a while and wants to try something new. And uh, Homebrewers Recipe Database by Les Howarth. And basically these are just very short recipes. It just tells you how, uh, what kind of malt to add, what kind of hops, but it does not tell you how much of each. So you have to figure that one out for yourself. But it's over a thousand recipes I believe. Is it, or is it 10,000? 2,000. 2,000 commercial European beers. Uh, I haven't used this one yet, but I will. And lately I've got some uh, magazines as well from uh, uh, The Best of Brew. The Best of Brew, yeah. Brewers. It's a Brewer's Magazine. Well, it looks like this. And these are special editions. In this one you got 250 classic clone recipes. Um, all the beers or the labels are on the pictures and all the recipes. 
you've got extract, uh, grain versions, so it's pretty uh, covers pretty much everything of these beers. You've got some background stories, so you can definitely get that edition. Uh, I also got some retro clones, and this is more about. Uh, well, there's a lot of stories where the beers came from and stuff like that. I, was, I also got a Hop Lovers, Hop Lovers Guide. Talks a lot about hops. I've been reading up on hops a bit um, to get better on that. And some re recipes as well and uh, pretty much talks about hops, how to store them, how to pick them, how to grow them if you grow them. Uh, it has alpha acid charts. So it's a good reference. Um, they also made a brewer's beginner's guide to home brewing. And this one is very good for uh, beginners to read. Uh, a lot of articles on uh, how to start up with uh, basic kit brewing. Got your pictures and uh, instructions. Uh, yeah, it's a good uh, beginner's guide as well. If you don't want to buy the books, you can buy this more cheaply and pretty much get the same result. And also got another special edition, 25 great homebrew projects. Now it talks about stuff like uh, sparging systems, um, sparging systems, what else, what else? Uh, cooler mash tons. Boiling and kettles, and the, it basically with pictures shows you and instructions shows you how to build the different stuff. You've got your uh, hop dryer, draft dispensers, uh, fermentation. Talks about that, heat belts and whatnot. Yeah, so it's a good. Uh, Homebrew Projects uh, edition. Uh, I do recommend this if you want to start some kind of project, maybe making a mash ton or whatever. Uh, do buy this one, this uh, magazine. And yeah, so that's about my literature. Uh, hope you enjoyed this little presentation and uh, remember to comment, uh, please subscribe, and uh, thank you for watching. Cheers. Hi guys, Jacob here. Uh, I wanted to share uh, with you some of my books, my brewing books. Wow, 